We begin with breaking news right off the top. Miami City Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla right there arrested on bribery and money laundering charges. This all stemming from an investigation into the commissioner's campaign contribution. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench joins us live now from City Hall with the latest. Peter. Lauren and Elliot, a source familiar with the case, says FDLE agents came here to City Hall to arrest the commissioner, but he turned himself in at FDLE headquarters. This case stems from an investigation by the Broward State Attorney's Office. The FDLE says 59-year-old Miami City Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla was arrested on criminal charges of money laundering and bribery that were tied to accepting campaign contributions but failing to disclose them. The charges against de la Portilla include one count each of money laundering, bribery, and criminal conspiracy, three counts of unlawful compensation or reward for official behavior, four counts of misconduct, one count of campaign contributions in excess of legal limits, and two counts of failure to report a gift. The maximum penalty for money laundering is up to 30 years in prison, while some of the other charges can mean maximum terms of 15 years each. The FDLE says 48-year-old attorney William Riley Jr. is also facing a series of charges tied to money laundering and bribery. Investigators say both men accepted more than $15,000 in payments for the commissioner's brother's judicial campaign for Miami-Dade County Court and did not report them as required by state law. Investigators also said Diaz de la Portilla operated and controlled two political committees for personal expenses, and the committees reported total donations of more than $3 million. Our chief of staff is not here, so... No one at Diaz de la Portilla's office wanted to comment. Miami-Dade Commission on Ethics and Public Trust Executive Jose Arroyo said in a statement, it is always sad and regrettable when an elected official is criminally charged with abusing the public's trust, but the community should find some solace in the fact that today's arrest will shine a bright light on the alleged criminal conduct. De La Forte at this point is being held in $72,000 bond. Riley's being held on $46,000 bond. Both men expected to appear before a judge tomorrow. Now, we did reach out to the Miami Mayor, Francis Suarez, at the Broward State Attorney's Office, but they are not commenting right now. We are live at Miami City Hall. Peter Dench, CBS News, Miami. Diaz de la Portilla, well-known figure in Miami politics. We'll be following this closely. Peter, thank you for that update from Coconut Grove. And in a statement just released to CBS News Miami, the city had this to say about Commissioner Diaz de la Portilla's arrest. Quote, we are not aware of the nature of the charges beyond what has been publicly released and cannot comment on any aspect of the situation. City of Miami will monitor the situation accordingly.